Okay, so I want to go over the solution to this lock problem. Uh, so remember, this is we need to come up with four digit code for our bike lock. Uh, the digits can be zero through nine. We don't want to use any digit more than once. How many different codes fit those conditions? Uh, thinking back to Puyo's four step problem solving process, our first step is always understand the problem. So let's look at the key details here. We know we need a four digit code. We know we're only going to use the digits zero through nine. Uh, and that we can only use each digit once. It's also helpful to understand this problem. I just googled bike lock um, and one of these actually showed up. Like this is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. When you buy it, it looks like this. You can open it up, change the digits to be whatever code you want. You relock it and then like that's your, your code. So that's, that's the kind of thing we're talking about here. Um, some heuristic options relate to a similar problem. So if you thought, does order matter here? You thought about permutations and combinations. Uh, you're thinking about the choose function, binomial coefficients, the fundamental counting principle. Like if any of those things popped into your head, you probably used relate to a similar problem. So that's probably the heuristic that you used or one of the heuristics you used. Um, if you headed to the internet, you asked your friend, you asked an old math teacher, like how would you do this problem? You're probably using resources, I see I misspelled that, but resources outside of yourself. Okay, so that's a possible heuristic. Um, the heuristic that I'm going to use is actually kind of using manipulatives. Uh, so here, look, I've got, got my setup here, all the digits 0 through 9, and in each of the four spots of the lock. So here's how I'm going to do this. Um, look at this first spot. I've got 10 different numbers I can pick for there. Right, I can pick 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. That's 10 different things. Once I pick one of those, say I pick 7, that removes it as a possibility for all my other uh, digits because I already use it. I don't want to repeat digits. That means there's nine choices for the second digit. Similarly, if I pick one of those, say zero, that removes them from my third and fourth spots. So in my third spot, I've only got eight choices left. Picking one of those, say three, removes three from my last spot. That means I've got seven choices for the last spot. Uh, so the way that I count these all up using that fundamental counting principle or just remembering how multiplication basically works, if I've got 10 things, 9 things, 8 things, 7 things, I multiply those together and that gives me 5,040. So 5,040 is the total number of different lock codes I can pick for this situation. Uh, looking back, remember Puglia's last step isn't just figure out the problem, it's look back, re reflect on your answer. So we want to know, can you check your result? Does your result make sense? 5,040 seems kind of high, but you've got to remember there are 10,000 different four-digit numbers. So a little more than half of them being uh, not having repeated digits is probably right. Like that seems reasonable at least. Could we derive the result a different way? Can we get our solution at a glance? So if you want to practice using outside resources, Google this. Okay, go online, see if you can find this problem or a problem similar to it that walks you through how you get 5,040. If you want to practice a heuristic using established formulas, go see, look up information on the choose formula or choose function and see if you can use that to solve this problem. See if you can get the 5,040 by using that formula. Uh, can you use this result or method on other problems? What if you could use repeated numbers? Okay, how many different codes would there be then? What if you wanted each digit to be only one away from the previous digit, wrapping from 9 to 0 and back? Okay, so maybe 2, 3, 2, 1 would be a possible code. How many different codes are there that like that, that just go up and down one from each? What if you wanted the number to only increase from left to right? That's a much harder problem. Okay, that's actually a much trickier problem to do in my opinion. So if you really want to crack down and like try to figure out a harder problem, what if they could only increase? Okay, so you've got a 2 and then the next one could be 5 and then 6 and 7 or something. Uh, and then a related problem, how many different license plates could be printed if there were three letters followed by four digits, four single digits? Uh, that's what Wisconsin currently uses on their current license plate. So just how many different ones of those are there? And then did you learn anything new was kind of our last question here. Remember, one of the most powerful heuristics is relate to a similar problem. So if you didn't use that already, you didn't immediately think of combination, permutation, that kind of thing, make sure you know this problem well enough so that in the future you can think back and be like, oh, this problem's kind of like that lock problem. How did I do that? And go back to that heuristic.